Hey guys, this is Nathan. Welcome to Punters Pre Mortem. The Triple X Special this weekend comes up at race 6 at Caulfield, number 1, Mahuta. Mahuta! It's Mahuta in front, sailing by, lunges hard, and made it close, but I think Mahuta perhaps from sailing by. Hakuna Mahuta! The Triple X Special last week, Mahuta dug deep to hold on to win last start, making it two Triple X Specials in a row. Num num, that PT was tasty. The Triple X Special this weekend comes up at race 7 at Rosehill Gardens over the 1400 metres. Number 1, press statement. Heard the news, mate? Seems ages ago we tipped this horse to win the JJ Atkins around the first five or six shows. This horse looks set to fire on Saturday after two recent trials. Look, it's really straightforward on Saturday. This horse is lengths better than this field, meets him at level weights. This horse is one of the best three year old colts in the country. Gonna run a blistering section of the last 200. Gonna blow this field away, so I'm gonna be getting on. The cheeky, sneaky, each way better the weekend comes up at Rose Hill Race 6, number 11, Cat Swish. <laughs> Mate, you're just tipping it just so you can do that noise, aren't you? In all seriousness, there's conditions to suit this horse on Saturday. Second up at 1400 metres, which is his preferred distance, where it's won four of its seven starts. Big weight drop from 60 kilos down to the 54. Get the gun, Brenton Abdullah, on board. Old Brenton can get a good run from barrier six, pull out at the 200 meters, run past them, wave to all those bogans with the white shoes. Rose Hill, race six over the 1350 meters. My numbers are 11, five, and seven. Five Sweet Fire looks to profile well with Rory Hutchings' one and a half kilo claim. Gets it down to 57 and a half kilos. What this girl does, she does have a turn of foot, could leave him flat footed and just blow this field away. Rose Hill race seven over the 1400 meters, my numbers are one and eight. Eight spill the beans was pretty impressive, beating a fairly handy field in the Eskimo Prince at group three level at 1200 meters. Stepping up to 1400 meters look ideal on Saturday, and if there is a chink in the armor of the one press statement, I think this guy can find him out and can add some value to this quaddy. Race eight over the 1900 meters, my numbers are eight, seven, three, and four. eight allergic. Prove me wrong last start. The can't win file this weekend comes up at Randwick race one, number six allergic. But Allergic's drawn clear. Butters won't sneeze at this. Allergic pulls away to beat Tester Shadow in slow pace. Ooh, this humble pie. It tastes so good, this humble pie. Looks to keep the winning sequence going. Down on the limit weight with Timmy Clark. Looks the winner. Three down in the quaddy. Uh? Race 9 over 1100 metres. My numbers are 1, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Pew. One Brook Road. Look, she flies fresh. Three from six first up. A lot of pace on so she can get back even with the 59 kilo sprint past them. Brook Road taking us on the road to Quaddy Town. And if she can't, I reckon one of the other 10 horses I've picked in this leg can win. Kingston Town can't win. Grover and Kingston Town flashing, he might win yet the champ. Grover took the lead off, Kingston Town swapping them. What a run, Kingston Town wins it next to Grover. The can't win file this weekend comes up at race one at Flemington over the 1600 metres, number one, all Cerise. Look, this horse has been ultra consistent over the mile the last three starts, but she's been getting easy, soft leads. She's not going to get on that on Saturday. This horse will win four in a row, please. She ain't black caviar. No chance. We will be very, very angry with you, and we will write you a letter telling you how angry we are. Dear Dwayne Dunn, mate, what are you doing with politeness for having her 12 lengths off the lead at the turn at Caulfield? She's fast, but she's never going to make up that kind of ground, mate. You can make it up to me, but... Give Shataka a peach and I'll forgive you, buddy. Peanut. The rockin' Rangy Rangdu is joining in on the outside. Is it his day to day? It's Road to Rock and Rangy Rangdu fighting it out. Rangy Rangdu on the outside is in front and Rangy Rangdu gets his group one. 